Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, uh, EFA6. Today, um, it is currently a front, that was Friday, April 3rd. Um, lucky number three, actually, that's for my daughter, Maddie. Number three is so a lucky number three. Today, I got a few topics, but the, the, the main topic here today, which is very important based on what's going on, um, and I'm going to get into that, and the, the, bear with me throughout this one here. The, this is a solution. It's a solution. And and to keep the economy going, to keep the public going. Because there's a couple of things happening right now. So th this is about personal protective equipment measures and procedures across the board. Okay. The Quebec police, um, as we know, the borders between Ottawa and Ontario, basically, and Quebec at certain areas, that they, they, there's a blockade in Ottawa. Caught everybody for surprise. They're just screening everybody going through but from the i haven't gone through myself but i guess it's on media i guess it's on people going through uh law enforcement uh officers and not a couple of cars i'm talking the thousands i'm talking lineups <laughs> like in the thousands of people being talked to by law enforcement law enforcement is not wearing any ppes no face coverings no gloves i'm walking up right up and do a driver's window and the driver has to open the window and they're face to face and on top of that the law enforcement is usually because if you're in vehicles they're above you so they're talking to you as we all know with COVID-19 and it's not a good practice to follow so where is the consideration here for the public and law enforcement those law enforcement are also interacting with individuals every single day by the thousands and we're told Six feet, remember that? Six feet. And one of the big things about the six feet is because saliva. Saliva projects from people's mouths when they talk, when they sneeze. What is it? 3,000 particle for a sneeze. Think about that. And they say the tip of that particle is one tenth of the tip of your hair. And you ex expel 3,000 of those particles when you sneeze. Think about that. So, where's the consideration of law enforcement? Where's the consideration of the public? Now, let's go forward here. Where's the consideration of the landowners? Look at all the people in Ottawa that own properties in Quebec and vice versa. And they and what is consideration of right now insurances? You have to inspect your properties. You water floods, springtime is coming. You have to inspect your property. You have to have somebody inspect your property. They're mortgage holders, they're landowners, they're insurance holders. They have responsibilities to those properties, legal responsibilities that they might not get covered by insurances if they fled because you haven't been to your property for so for such a period of time. Is are, are, are these mortgages going to get dropped? Are these insurances going to get dropped because you can't even access your own properties now? Right? There's going to be a lot of restrictions. So where is that consideration? What is the consideration for the business owners that have to stay open? They're open. They have to stay open, and 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 but they respectfully. There's a lot of employees that are not coming in because of the fear. Respectfully, right? They live with the grandmothers or fathers or mothers or people that have underlying condition, uh, breathing conditions, asthma, children with asthma. Uh, my mother had ALS. My mother died of Lou Gehrig's disease. So I know <laughs> about people that live on life support. That bag that you see that in, on TV. I, I made my mother breathe so many different times from transitions to bed, to hospital bed, to hospital bed, to ambulances. I've, I've worked with the staff and I kept my mother breathing. When we took her home, we would take the whole family and take her home, we'd make her breathe. So we had procedures in place between even her family member so that we can give her, our mother the best life she had, could in those last years of her life long years i'm talking well over seven years of the, the whole process of the als the devil himself um but so when i look at consideration i, I look at all, all those kinds of consideration and those business owners and those and those employees that don't want to come in because i respect a fear and but the business owners are still operational at very minimal staff and but they, they're trying to keep up what about those restaurants that are closing down what about all those businesses that are hurting right now and closing down it's happening those are their babies. Those businesses that from they built from the ground up are all those individuals' babies. They built those businesses. Like, <laughs> like for the birth, they created birth of their business. What about the consideration of all those, right? And when I when I look at that and I look at solutions, I'm going to talk about solutions right now. Prior to COVID nineteen, prior to any of this. 
industry itself, whether it's law enforcement industry, whether it's construction industry, land, air, sea industry, people working in underwater, people working at heights, people working electrical, people working like caissons and bridges and law enforcement and ride teams and, and in the medical field that your life depends on it. All those industries, land, sea, and, and, and earth here, all the uh, land, sea, and, earth, and water, like all those industries, people wear personal protective equipment every single day of their, of their, of their day-to-day operations. They have to, their life depends on it. And what is that, why is that in place? Measures, procedures, and trust me, industry regulates itself. If there's measures and procedures in place and you're supposed to do it, the responsible ones out there, we regulate ourselves. I'm telling you, <laughs> they regulate themselves. They catch anybody not wearing a personal protective equipment they're supposed to, they're told. We regulate ourselves. We, we also need the measures and procedures to the foundation. Where does it say that? We need those in place. So all this forever, all these industries develop to that, to those measures and procedures. How about, I'm not speaking to you, government. Okay, I'm going to the top here. I'm speaking to you, and, and then you're going to speak to all, all, the, all the ministers. Ontario, Minister of Labor, right? The, the, we need to have measures and procedures in place, but not only for the workers, for the public. Everybody across the board. The public, industry. Industry, N95s. Keep them for your, your health care, people that are working with the sick, people that are in, possibly infected. Keep your N95 mask for that. The general public and the workforce that are not sick or maybe sick or can. Okay, uh, there's, there's studies out there that say covering the face, covering the face, r- removing the hand to face touch brings it down. Non-latex gloves brings it down. Sanitation at stations, your per, your, uh, your, um, <laughs> your 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 hand sanitizers. That hand sanitizer station and the wash stations access to those four things: cover the face, hand sanitation, wash station access to, and your 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 non-latex gloves. Those things bring everything down. Now make everybody mandatory. You're going out to work. You're going to wear non lace up glove, you're going to have access to sanitation stations or water to wash your hands, and you got to cover your face. And when I say cover your face, I'm not talking the N95s. Keep the N95s for the people that really need them. The, like, you see the ones with the motorcycle the sleeves? Like, the, the, there's tons of the, 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 the fashionable ones. There's so many. Uh, you want to hear businesses? Make your own. Make your own. Like, like, make your own for your own family. Start knitting again. But use materials that are breathable materials breathable materials, and there's materials out there that will prevent the extraction of, of saliva in that. I'll guarantee you there's companies that I've worked with over the last decade, those that are in the fabric industry, those that do the, the, the compression gear and et cetera, they will be more than glad to create these sleeves you just pull over your face, and not the skulls, let's go with the happy faces one, <laughs> or, 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 uh, or motivational, inspirational messages, uh, we, we have enough like clouds right now, we need brightness, right? Get those sleeves with with, uh, with smiles on them or the positive messages. But those sleeves, I'll guarantee you, that if you want, I'll give you some names. Give me a call. I'll give you the names of the manufacturer. They'll probably love to find their material. The, 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 the spandex industry, the compression sock industry, all those industries, uh, the, 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 the facial gear industries that are already making them for motorcycles and so many fashionable ones and so forth, they'll love to make you one. And government, that has to be supported by you. That has to be supported by you. That industry, at minimum, business people know where to, how to buy. They know how to buy. That's what they do. They know how to buy. Give them locations. Give them warehouses that are stocked so they, the APIs can talk to each other. The order is the online system. They can make a phone call. They can call it in. Do a PO. Do anything. Give them locations that have all those materials at a very good price. Remember, put that law in place at a very good price. And the manufacturers at a profit, they, they gotta they gotta make some money. They gotta pay their employees, right? The whole system has to work. So at a at a, at a reasonable profit to keep their businesses going and to pay employees and make some profit to keep growing. Get those companies together, put those stations together, the business will buy them. The business will buy them. 
right? And, and, and what do they do with their employees? The employees will buy them. The, 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 the trades will buy them. The companies will buy them. But that has to be subsidized. You have to help these companies and these employees. So part of that funnel program I talked about yesterday on the EI, however system you want to do, there has to be a compensation. Because this is not, um, everybody has their message and procedures in place. Everybody puts that in place. But this is kind of a, it's, this was planned, right? <laughs> we, this happened to all of us, so we have to shut down. So we need some help. Give us some help. Give us access to face coverings that will protect ourselves from that. Look at the research on that. If the, I'm just giving solutions. Face coverings, the hand, the, the non-latex glove, the sanitation um, as it pertains to the sanitizer, gels, sprays, whatever. There's a company out here, the Canadian companies here. I'm talking about all these Canadian companies here. I love my American friends. And do the same. In America, do the same. In Mexico, do the same. In the world, do the same. There's companies out there, and I'll speak about the, the Canadian ones that I've been working with, that that they, they, they make barrels of this, uh, like I mean barrels, and I know companies that have bought hundreds of these barrels right now, and thousands of these barrels right now. But these barrels, inside these barrels are biodegradable, organic, clean. It kills it kills germs. It kills, it kills, it kills what, it, what the sanitizer does. It does the exact same thing. But there's companies out there like that, there's sanitizer companies. There's there's people that change the, the conveyor belts to make, to make sanitizers. All those companies will work with you. All the companies for the sleeves and the compression gear and that kind of stuff, that, that have to make the material will work with you. Get those locations open for that. Get make it make it so that it's subsidized, so that these companies can have access to them at a, at a good price or, or, or at cost. Make it at cost so they can get their workers working. Because if their workers are working, it's bitten back into the system. The money goes back into the system. The ball starts rolling. People can go access their cottage now because everybody has to wear them. If we see people out there, you want to go out, just wear them. Wear your face coverings, wear your gloves, and that kind of stuff. Right? There's procedures, measured procedures. And for the measured procedures, I told you yesterday, I'm going to tell you again, some of the very, very best are out there. Industry, your unions, your non-unions, your government, your business, your, some of the very best are out there. And we'll put measured and procedures in place. So well written. The people that their lives depend on it and they work with measured and procedures all the time, some of the very best will help you out. So that that that's my word. Like um, EFA six here, and 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 again, there's a solution. We can't do this forever. We have to go back to work. We have to go back to life. We have to take care of our sick. We have to take care of our healthcare. We have to take care of each other. But there's a solution. All right, do the research. I'm just me. There's a solution. John Gabriel, thank you. Merci.